Hi, and welcome to Below Average Gaming. I'm your host, the Below Average Gamer. Today, I'm not playing Minecraft. Finally. Today, <laughs> sorry, I love Minecraft, I'm sorry. Today, I'm actually um, talking about Pokemon Sun and Moon. I love Pokemon Sun and Moon. And I've kind of kept quiet about my emotions on the whole thing going on with that until today. Because some leaks have come out when people got the demo, they actually data mined the demo, and they're able to get some information out, saying that they've released a ton of Pokemon, they've released a ton of of um, the beasts, they've released a ton of stuff, just millions and millions of things. And I'm not gonna touch everything, I'm just gonna touch on some stuff that I saw that um, isn't okay. <laughs> stuff that I don't think is right. Now let me start off with my theory. Here's my theory. My theory is that they did put some information in the game, some stuff for us to find. Um, my other theory is they put stuff for us to find that isn't real. Stuff that they put for us to get angry about, for us to get upset about, for us to be like, this can't be true, I'm so upset, I'm so angry, Urgh. because they know people are going to data mine. They've known about it ever since uh, they, they started releasing stuff on the uh, DS. Ever since they started releasing demos, they knew people were going to data mine. And I think they put things in there that weren't real for the sole purpose of us to data mine and get the information wrong. Because Nintendo's smart. They're a big company. They know we're going to go through and they know we're going to look for stuff and they know that we're not going to get it right. They know that we're going to look for things and they know that stuff's going to be put in there that we're going to find and they know that we're going to immediately post all that stuff on the internet and they, they want us to do that. But this time I think they want us to get it wrong because there's been so much stuff already leaked for Sun and Moon that they put stuff in there for us to find and get wrong. And I, I don't think I can put any plainer than that. That they gave us the wrong answers to a lot of things. My hair is insane today and I'm sorry about that. But let's get started. First, I want to talk about something that I'm really excited about, and that is the evolution for Wimpod, because that thing is insane. I love it. This is my new favorite Pokemon. Every time that a Pokemon new generation comes out, there's one Pokemon that gets leaked that I am looking forward to. Ooh, gotta move that down a little bit. That I'm looking forward to, and I'm just playing the game just to get to that Pokemon. And I'm really excited that it's a fossil Pokemon, as I assume. I assume Wimpod is a fossil Pokemon, um, just in its design and everything. But this guy is amazing. Have you seen him? He's fantastic. He reminds me of back when um, Armaldo and his line first came out. And I was so pumped to get that Pokemon. Um, and this is the exact same thing. It's a little fish Pokemon that evolves into this massive fighting brick house. Which I am pumped. I cannot explain to you how pumped I am about this Pokemon. Here's the regular version and the shiny version. Both here. Um, next I'm going to hop over to something that I want to talk about for a little bit just because it's really difficult to know what's real and not. And that's this. This is the evolution for uh, Litten, which is really cool. It's also a fighting fire, which we've seen a million times before. Um, it was leaked many months ago, um, saying that this is going to be the final evolution. Even before we had the middle form for Litten, we had this leaked. So. I don't think it's real, but they did data mine and say, oh yeah, we have um, all three evolutions shown and we were right so long ago. I don't think Nintendo would do that because there have been instances of this before where people saying, oh yeah, here's this leak that came out six months before the game did and we were completely right and we ended up being very wrong. So I think this is the same thing. I think this is the fact that uh, Nintendo saw these leaks because again, they're not stupid. They have the internet, they're making video games. They saw this and said, you know what, let's go ahead and put that in there. Not in the game, we'll put it in the data so people can find that and understand, oh look, we were right the whole time. And then when the real game comes out, people are like, oh, what happened? And Nintendo can then pull the big, ha ha, we tricked you, we were right, you were wrong, we put that in there as a joke, ha 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 ha, you lose. And knowing that there's nothing we do about it, we'd be like, oh yeah, we like the original better, or oh, we like this one better, so on and so forth. But I think they put it in there to say, we know what we're doing, and leaking things like six months in advance, if, if we wanted to, we'd do it, and we wouldn't do it. So I think these are just really intricate hoaxes that Nintendo decided to play along with for a little bit. Um, not to say that I hate these designs, I'm going to move on to the next one. I actually love the designs. I know there's been a lot of controversy over this one because it is very feminine. And people saying, I don't want to have a feminine starter following me around all the time. It's weird. But there's a lot of stuff like that, though. You know, we have Machamp, Machoke, that whole line. We have Blaziken, those ones that are all just super masculine, and you're like, oh, we're fine with this, whatever. May can tote around a Blaziken. All that crazy stuff, what's going on? And, you know, it's it's kind of messed up, and I'm really happy that they actually have some more feminine starters, because I feel like all the mas all the starters so far have been masculine. The only um, exception to that would be, like, Bayleaf, or Chikorita. 
which is just an amorphous little blob. And we're like, oh yeah, it looks feminine all the time, yeah, whatever. I don't think that really counts. Um, I'm not saying that I'm not excited if these were real, I'm just saying <coughs> I don't think Nintendo would leak, uh, allow things to be leaked six months in advance and then just be like, oh yeah, leave it as is. I love um, the final evolution for Rowlet. I like this little design that it has up here of his, um, like with the cowl off. It looks like Rowlet. <coughs> it looks like Rowlet. It looks like it's just a Rowlet, like four Rowlets in a trench coat. That's what it looks like to me. And I'm really pumped. I, 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 I hope this is it, but I also think that Nintendo would do a lot to make sure that stuff like this wasn't leaked. And again, this is one of those things that was leaked so far, so far back that I don't think that they'd just be like, oh man, that sucks, all of our stuff got out. I think they'd do something about it. And I, we haven't heard anything about it, so I think, I don't think this is the final evolution. I don't think any of these are the final evolutions for our starters, at all. And that's just my opinion. I think it'd be cool if they were, but I don't think they are. I think Nintendo's playing us on this one. When they did data mine this and say, oh look, they're in the game. I think it, I don't think it was, uh, yeah, I think this is a big joke. Um, speaking of big jokes, Here's the new Alela forms that we found out about. I am upset. You should be upset because these are disgusting. These are just disgusting monsters. Um, first off, I want to talk about Diglett. I don't want to talk about Diglett. I don't want to talk about any of these because they're horrifying. They're monsters. I feel like they had a, a meeting. Here's exactly what happened. They had a meeting and they said, hey, we're going to put these fake Pokemon in the game just to get people freaked out. And uh, they said, what should we do? And someone said, well, let's start off with Diglett. There's nothing wrong with Diglett. What if we gave him a little tuft of hair? And someone said, oh yeah, just give him the little thing. There's your Alola form, ha ha ha, look, he has three little hairs on his head. And then someone said, oh, but what about when he evolves into Doug Trio? What if those three little bloops on his head turned into just full-on Trump hair? This is insane. There's no way this is in the game. No possible way this is in the game. This is a huge joke that Nintendo's playing on us. I firmly believe that. These three forms here were the reason that I was like, this has to be a joke. Absolutely has to be a joke. Because, I mean, even with Persian, there have been two different images leaked. There's been this one in the middle, and there's also been um, a version that looks much more like Persian. It looks like just a purple Meowth with dark circles under its eyes. This picture even looks photoshopped. It looks like it's Garfield's head on top of a Persian body. As if they said last minute, you know what, let's just make these Pokemon not real. And these are the ones that they said, you know, we've we looked through and we data mined and we found these forms. No! Absolutely not. This cannot be true. I Nothing more I can say! Look at Doug Trio! He's a, <laughs> He's a living meme. I hate him. I hate him so much. Doug Trio was great, you know, I got him, whenever I got him in the game, I got him a Pokemon Go, and I was like, oh, Doug Trio, you know, he could be useful. I'm not a big fan of his design, but he could be useful. And this one just makes me hate him. Makes me hate him so much. Because I never thought of Doug Trio as bald until I saw these, and I was like, just a little bald man. And now with the hair, I'm like, I... If this happened, if this came out and this was the actual Doug Trio, I don't think I'd get the game. If these were the three, um, new forms of these Pokemon, I don't think I would get the game. I don't think I'll get the game if that's the thing. I, I pray and I hope that this is a big trick by Nintendo to say, um, hey, you thought you had us. You don't. Ha ha ha. We're Nintendo. Joke's on you. And one of the reasons that I think that they legit just sat down and said, how can we make these Pokemon look horrible? Um, is if you look at the next, the last one, the uh, Geodude evolution line. So we have Geodude up there. And um, I mean, I like the hands. I like the hands a lot, and I like the idea that he's just a changed color. And I even kind of like the eyebrows, but those little pube hairs that he has growing up on the top there, that's the only way that I can describe them, sorry. Those little pube hairs that he has growing up on there are idiotic. I, I can't possibly think of a way to explain, because all of the um, Alolan Alo evolutions have reasons to why they look that certain way. I can't imagine any definition for why um, Doug Trio, Persian, or Golem would look like this. I have no possible way that I could explain any of these. I mean, even the Raichu one was a little bit crazy, but you have to remember that that Raichu one was made kind of just as a fan service. It's just like, he eats pancakes, now he floats, ha ha ha. Funny, we're Nintendo. These have no grounding in reality. At all. There's no way that these would possibly exist. Even in the Pokemon universe, where berries make you happy and beautiful and whatnot, it, it's impossible. There's no possible way. None at all. Look at, look at, look at them. Just look at them. Idiotic. 
Uh, Geo dude, uh, he has his little pew hairs. I like the hands. I like the fact that he doesn't have like human man hands anymore. He has like little mitten hands because I'm like that's a little bit more Pokemon. I kind of like that. And then um, Growler did the same thing with the hands. Um, but they gave him like he looks like that scene in Iron Giant where they're trying to disguise Iron Giant, so they just like throw crap on him and they're just like put stuff wherever. That's what it looks like. There's no reason to have that unibrow thing. Um, there's no reason to have those little flakes of yellow. There's no reason to have those little sideburn things. There's no reason to have those arm things. He literally is just a groveler that they threw stuff on. There's nothing else different. They just threw stuff on. And I think that if they included that in the game, it would ruin the idea of a Lolan Pokemon. Because that's what they did with these three here. You look at the Diglett and the Doug Trio. They just threw something on. Yeah, they changed the dirt a little bit, but they just were like, and pop that on there. They took the Geodude and they were like, and pop that on there. They took the Growlithe and they said, and just pop that stuff on there. Awesome, looks great. Um, and then the Golem, they they made him worse. Like, they took the hands, which I thought was the only good thing about the other two pre-evolutions. And they were like, what if we just take his hands and, like, took them away? And they're like these little nubbins now. And it's horrible. It's horrifying. It's disgusting. It's his little nipple arms. He has these little nipple arms coming out of his sides. And his feet, I mean, his feet look good. I don't think they changed anything. They might have added an extra toe or something. They gave him a beard and mustache for some reason. I don't know. There's so much fan art for good, um, like, Mega Evolution golems. I don't know why they didn't just take one of those and roll with it. Because that's hideous, what they have there. He has that thing on top of him that's, like, some sort of magnet type thing. That's the only, that's the only way I can think that this would make sense, is if they're like, oh, yeah, the land in the Aeolian region where these guys are is magnetic. So, um, they have stuff that just sticks to them, and that's supposed to be, like, just garbage that's somehow fused into their body, and when they become a golem, um, they have more control over that, and they become just a giant magnet, so they no longer need arms. It's stupid, it's idiotic, it doesn't make sense what just came out of my mouth right now, but that's the closest thing to an explanation that I can think of. Because that is, I don't, oh my gosh, I'm so angry. I'm like legitimately angry. If, again, if these are in the game, I don't think I'm gonna buy it. I don't think I can buy it knowing these are in the game. And if I do get the game, as soon as I see the thing, like a Geodude appear, run away. Just freaking run away. Don't look back. Don't move. Don't pull out a Pokemon. But maybe I'll catch him just so I can have him in the Pokemon. Just run away. Just, I. Because look, look at them. Again, Geodude looks like he just has trash thrown on him. Persian looks like they got a Persian and said, this is a really clean and sleek Pokemon. What if we made it the exact opposite? Which I know that that's kind of the idea with some of the Alolan forms, is like they're the opposite of what they were before. Um, like with the Vulpix and Ninetales, it's like, instead of fire, let's make them snow. That's monstrous. I mean, the idea with the um, Alolan Meowth was that it's, uh, you know, they're bred for show, they're like nicer, they're prissier, and then they evolve, and they look hideous. What, I, that doesn't like go with the description for their evolutionary line at all. So I think it has to be the other form, the sleeker form that looks just like a regular Persian. Because that does look like just a different colored Meowth. So I think that a, the Persian form would be just a different colored Persian. But that one looks horrible. Horrifying. It looks like it, if, they, if Meowth was in the same generation as Snubble and they were made to be like equals, that looks like that's what that would be. It would be like the Snubble version of Meowth. Because they both look just hideous. Um, and even then, it evolves into Grand Bull, which looks awesome. But, I, that's why, I, like, the middle one, the Meowth and the Persian there, I think is fine. I think it's not real, they have a second version already out, and whatever. But the idea with the Diglett and Doug Trio makes me just genuinely angry, because I don't know what the thought process was there. I cannot imagine. And the idea with the, uh, Golem, Groveler, and, uh, Geodude, I don't understand either. I can kind of try to make it make sense, but... Yeah, I don't know what that thing is coming out of Golem. I don't know what that stuff is just sprouting out of Graveler. And I don't know why they gave Geodude pubes. But don't. Nintendo, please make this a joke. If it's not a joke, please make it one. You still have time. Just, you know, if, if you just made... I think it'd be interesting if you had um a different type of Geodude. And then when he evolves, he becomes just regular Graveler and Golem. That'd be fine. I mean, the hands, I like the hands. I like the fact that they're like mitten hands, they're not like human hands, because that was a loss unsettling. I even looked at like the original, like when I first watched the show and they had Geodude, I was like, that doesn't look right. He was like a rock, but then he has like people fingers. It's not good. 
But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Do you agree with me that this is all just a big elaborate joke by Nintendo and it's not going to be in the game? Do you think Nintendo's just going downhill and is like, yeah, just throw it on there? What do you think is happening here? Please let me know in the comments. If you like this video, like this video so that I know that you like this video. And subscribe so you can see more content. I promise you nothing is as ugly as, as this stuff here. Nothing is ever going to be as disgusting as this on this channel. So let me know what you think. Like it if you like it. Comment if you comment. And subscribe. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. And bye.